This Cowboys Report mailbag is made possible by True Classic. 25% off your first order at trueclassic.com slash chatsports. Tell you all about them later on in today's show. We appreciate True Classic sponsoring us here at the Cowboys Report. We have a super thanks to get to, a couple of them, to begin today's live mailbag from Xavier Worthy's burner account. Great game. Thought Dak was solid. Multiple throws that were drops or catchable, a few misses. Micah was held all night, but it didn't matter. They will, not, they will not call it. Garrett doesn't get them. Bosa doesn't get them. They, just, they don't call it. It's dumb. I hate it. You look forward to Buffalo, though. I know we had a great win, but we can't get caught up and lay an egg next week or after that. I completely agree. Uh, you got several tough games in a row. Got to keep your foot on the gas. You cannot get too cocky and confident and then lay an egg when you are underdogs against Buffalo. Now, this next Super Chat came in. Uh, before the Cowboys-Eagles game, saying got to press Smith and Brown, Brad cover John Brown, which they actually kind of did a little bit of. They, they had some safety help on him. Uh, look what the Niners did, continue to do. Play super, super physical, have not been going on the side of the football, especially in the run game. I agree that they were better in the run game against Philadelphia. Uh, need to be viewed as, as a great team. Got to uh, need to get pissed off and knock the crap out of someone, which what Tank Lawrence, I don't know if you caught Tank Lawrence's little rants, uh, which was a bit vulgar and also still not that vulgar by Tank standards. Hit him in the mouth over and over again. It's exactly what Tank ended up saying. Maybe, maybe this is Xavier Worthy's, maybe Xavier Worthy Bernie or, or is Tank Lawrence there. Either way, I, I thought this mentality you were asking for absolutely arrived against Phil, Philadelphia. Here's what Super Thanks it is, is a feature on YouTube. It allows you to donate outside of live videos. Click the thanks icon, edit your message, and send in your support. We appreciate you. All super thanks equal a shout out. From not, Jeremy Chugs Burner also came in before the Eagles game, but I think it's still re relevant. Uh, if Dax play, does he lose to Miami and Philly? Not by his doing. Does win MVP? The answer is no. I, I think if the Cowboys win three of their next four and Dak plays well, I think they will, he's got a great chance to win it. But fair or not, wins are part of the MVP conversation. That's why wild card quarterbacks don't normally win it. Plus, does Dan was does Bland tie Diggs' INT total with these buffoons at quarterback coming up? You're actually playing some some good quarterbacks uh, down the stretch here, but I'm gonna go with no. I think Bland gets maybe one more INT. It did not look, look his way against Philly. Tough matchup against the Dolphins, though. By the way, so will Dak Prescott win NFL MVP? Back to that kind of initial message on the super thanks there. Will Dak win NFL MVP this year? Why for yes and for no? It's the pinned comment of today's mailbag. You know the drill. The ad comes here on YouTube. Take advantage of it. Head down there and let me know. Aja Pawar, let Dak deal. How was wide receiver separation yesterday? How was pass protection? You're right. There were some more tight window throws. Turpin didn't have much, but he only had like the one target. Lamb was about league average. Better coverage there by Philadelphia. Jake Ferguson was very open. Cooks was a little bit below average, and Gallup, again, did not generate much separation. That's not really his game. Thought pass pro was pretty solid. Overall, Ob just says in another super chat, how was our offensive efficiency? You know, by Cowboys of late standards, not as good. Uh, you still scored 33 points, and that's, that's very good. Uh, you also gave up seven on the, uh, the strip sack and fumble by Dak, but... You know, you, you ran for 138 yards. You kind of had your efficiency drop there a bit down the stretch. Eagles actually had more yards per play than you did in that game. Um, you kind of slowed down a little bit uh, in, in the second half, but you were up 24-6 at halftime. That was, all, that, was all, that was all that you needed. So still, Dak was right when he said if he had played great, he, they would have dropped 50 on them. Dak was just like, okay, but they won the primetime game. Still for, threw for 200. 71 yards. It was like, you know, maybe a B, but the, the, the bar is high right now. That's a good thing. The Lunatic, Philly's beat up from a tough schedule or Jalen's playing hurt. How about you got punched in the mouth repeatedly and gave up? He's right. This, this, is, this is how football works. Like, I, I, you can't just make excuses for some teams and not for others. The, the better team won. The, the, the team, one team got outclassed. It's, that's how it goes sometimes. The Niners did it to both these teams earlier this season. Like, that, that's how football works. So, yeah, Cowboys earned that win. It's, it's one that should be enjoyed and then flushed after 24 hours to focus on the Buffalo Bills. 
Today's show is made possible by True Classic. The holidays are here, and for a limited time, you can get yourself and the men in your life the most loved gifts of all at a discounted rate. It's True Classic. A wide variety of options here for you. T-shirts, hoodies, jeans, sweats, hoodies, crews. They'll, they can become your go-to for casual Fridays, game days, trips to the gym, but also the office. And you can wear the nice polos like I am wearing today. And you can get 25% off your order at trueclassic.com slash chat sports. Link will be in the comments and the description of today's show. If you are like me, you don't know what to put on, on your Christmas list. Like you just, I, I'm, I'm an adult now. I, 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 I buy the, the things that I want when I want them, you know? But this is a perfect thing to add to your holiday, which is always a good time to, to refresh your stock. And once you reach a certain age, Clothes are actually a great Christmas gift. Maybe not so much when you were a kid, but it's going to be on uh, the Christmas list for my dad and my father-in-law. So if you are ready to upgrade your closet, shop now at trueclassic.com slash chatsports. Save up to 25% off your first order. End the year with some holiday cheer, thanks to True Classic. Links in the comments and the description of today's show. It's trueclassic.com slash chatsports. Another super chat from Gotham Guy. Not looking too far ahead in the playoffs, but if calling Gilmore old makes him play more physical, I hope Debo Samuel calls him a geriatric. I hope you're right, Gotham Guy. Uh, that's, that's, again, Niners are future, future problem. Leroy Pearson Jr., would you kick the tires on Indomitian Sue with the Hankins injury? You, you, you can if you want in the interest of leaving no stone unturned. I don't think he helps you. Hankins, it, it, you know, Sue is A, not the player he was in his prime. He's 36 years old, by the way. He wasn't that good for Philadelphia. And even dating back to his time in Tampa, when there had started to be some of that decline, etc., the things he was doing better were pass rushes. Like, he actually wasn't playing that much run defense. He, he had kind of almost, like, 2021, he had 500-plus pass rush snaps, under 200 run defense snaps. Like, he had become a situational pass rusher. So if you're trying to replace Hankins, Sue does not do that for me. It's Mozzie Smith, and you have Carl Davis on your practice squad. Those are the names I think make a lot more sense at this stage than, frankly, old, washed-up Nandamak and Sue. TKG, how about them Cowboys? Now let's continue to dominate the rest of the season, slash how do you feel the rest of the season? Tough games. Buffalo is talking about a team that's better than their record indicates. That's Buffalo. They, they are a very good football team. I don't know if they make the playoffs. If they beat you, they probably do. If they, if, if they lose to you, they, they might not, which is you know, that's how it tends to go. Detroit's not playing that great right now. Miami, we'll see how they play on Monday night, but they, they've been a dynamic team so far this season. Tough, tough three games. Three and four is a good record to have. Or sorry, three and one in those four games is a great mark to have. I That might not get you to the NFC East, though. And that's what's kind of tricky. Allen, is Mozzie Smith ready to step up with Hankins Hurt? Hope so. Uh, this is his time to, to shine. The whole goal was get him to, to make an impact later in the season. Hankins is going to miss some time, most likely. Mozzie got to step up. Bills and Dolphins and Lions love to run the football. At least they're not, maybe not love in you know, the Bills' new sense, but those teams can run the football. And the, the Lions are going to try like hell to. The Dolphins have been very efficient there. The Bills have done a little bit more of it as of late, plus Allen can run. Tough test of, of three-game slate. Let's see what he can do. So what is your confidence level in Mozzie Smith? Scale it for me from 1 to 10. 1 on the low end, 10 on the high end. Go vote in the comments section. From Vince, are the Eagles the last year Vikings, F. Chugs? I think they're a better team than that. Um, but there are some similarities in the sense that you're not always going to win those one-score games. And Philly's done that a bunch this year. And they've gotten blown out now by the Eagles and the 49ers, or by the Cowboys and the 49ers. You know, 20 points is a blowout. I don't care what anyone says. It's a three-score three win. That, that, that's a lot in the NFL. Um, I think they're better than... Minnesota, but there are some concerning things in terms of what happens come playoff time. 
you know, if they're the two seed, I mean, they'll beat the Rams or whoever they end up playing, the Seahawks or whatever, most likely. But against those other top NFC teams, we've seen what can happen. Ian Burns, what do you do with Lance if Dak gets paid again? See what happens in the preseason. I, I know everyone kind of wants the, the Lance answer now, but we were never going to get it until after this next preseason slate. You know, maybe Lance plays great, and you can either flip him or you, tra- you know, re-sign him to be your backup or whatever. Maybe he's a bust, and you, and you just move on, and you wasted the fourth-round pick, whatever. But the, the Lance trade was about maybe finding some talented young quarterback depth in the event of Dak Prescott getting hurt down, down the road. It was never about this year or really not even next year, most likely, because you were going to make your Dak decision this offseason. You knew that going in. It was no different than spending a fourth-round pick on, I don't know, you know Bo Nix is the same age as, as Trey Lance is. You know, Bo Nix is still in college. So you, you, you took the gamble on, on the, the still young quarterback a year in advance before the, the draft, basically. You want free Cowboys videos every single day. You have come to the right spot. Hit that sub button right now for more free vids. Food review. It's time to have a conversation about Jalen Hurts. But seriously, with how it works, can we afford an AFC loss if the Eagles drop a game, tiebreaker and stuff? Uh, if they drop a game against the Giants, yes. Um, if they drop a game against Seattle, yes. Yes. Depends on who Dallas loses to. Like, if they lose to, well, they would have lost to the teams that the Eagles beat. So I, I think they would win on tiebreakers, yes. But it would be ideal if they lost to, to the Giants in particular because then, then you take care of business against the NFC East tiebreakers. You're, you're set there. Otherwise, it would go beyond conference record, and I, I think Dallas would have a slight edge there. But it's the simplest path is, Go Giants. That's where we're at. Vince, are you as confident in the Cowboys on the road as at home in the playoffs, especially against the Eagles and Niners? No, I don't think so. I mean, how, how can you be? You know, they, they are a great football team at home. They're a good football team on the road. It's easier playing at home. Every team, that's why home field advantage matters so much. So, no, I'm, I'm not as confident on the road. Sam Jones, miss Zeke yet? No. Why? He's averaging under four yards a carry again? Why, why would I miss that? Why? Because he had some nice catches against, uh, against the Steelers? Okay. Averaged like 2.7 yards per carry. Okay. I'm, I'm not trying to be mean, like, but like, no. Rico Dowdle's better. I'll, 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 I'll stand on that one. I'm, not, like, I'm, I'm happy Zeke's having some success in New England, sure, but Rico's been more efficient. Uh, he scored on the end zone play, right? Don't get to, don't to see the old, oh, you missed Zeke in the red zone. In against Philly. Better back this year. RD for Rico Dowdle, EE for Ezekiel Elliott. Sound off in the comments section. D1 athlete. This is our year with the laughing emoji. But for real, top tier defense, on offense, me uh, waiting for Shady McCoy's response to go, boys. Question though, should we make any moves for anybody or are we set? I mean, who, who are you going to sign? There's nobody out there. You're, th- th- this is your team. This is your team to ride with down the stretch here. Um, also, I don't, I don't care what Shady M- McCoy says. He's, he's a paid actor. That's, that's all he is. Just ignore him. And Skip and all those other guys too. TKG was looking forward to Diggs versus Diggs th- this week. You, you know Trayvon's going to be there. Uh, disappointing to not have that, that matchup, sure, but it'll still be a, a, a great game. Dallas, the underdogs on the road against Buffalo.